Okay, so now I have an empty edit window. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I'm going to close these disclosures here and take those lists out. And then right here, I'm going to take this comments field out by simply unchecking it. And I want to go to track new. And I have this dialog here. I am going to do a little trick here where I just hit the plus sign a couple times. And I'm going to make some tracks. I want a one mono audio track. This will be, let's make two. This will be for our voiceovers. And then I'm going to have eight stereo audio tracks. I'm going to create five stereo auxiliaries. I'm going to create one video track. And I'm going to create one master fader stereo. And then I'm going to take that last one out. Okay? It doesn't matter. I mean, you can be basically in this. But we're going to build our template. So I hit Create. And I have those tracks. If I go Command equals to the Mix window, I have them as well. But if I want to unselect or deselect these, I can't. And that's a little bit of a gotcha because I want to get working on my session and name some of these, but I can't do that. This is where the option key does many, many things, but this is one of them. Hold down option and select. And that deselects the entire list of tracks. I can do the same thing by, I can make these tracks smaller one at a time, or I can hold down option first and then click small and they all go down. Okay, so I want to reorder this video track. Cancel that. I want to reorder this to the very top. Okay, and I like to keep my master at the bottom as well. And let's go ahead and add a couple of effects. So command equals to the mix window. And I want to add some plugins across my tracks. Now these first two are mono, so I'm not going to be able to select the types of plugins that I will for the rest. But I want EQs on these. And there's a lot of EQing that goes on in post, and we're going to need to do that. So I'm going to hit Option on my first stereo track, and I'm going to hit this first insert, A through E. And But I have the Option key held down, and I'm going to go Multi-Channel Plugins, EQ, and I'm going to pick this 7-band. You can pick whatever you want, and yours may not match what I have. Probably doesn't. 7 band and bang what happens the EQ comes up but I also have EQs across all of these tracks now I'm going to do the same thing hold down option and I'm going to put a basic compressor on every single track as well and I'm just going to do this little simple compressor and then I can do the same things for these I'm going to hold down option the difference being here is that these are multi mono plugins. Okay, so I don't have nearly the selection. So I'm going to hit just a mono EQ. And I can also option drag a plugin and copy it across just like that. So I held option and copied it. I'll do the same thing again with a compressor on the mono track. I'm just going to do a mono compressor. And then I'll close this off and hold down Option and drag. Okay, so we've we've created tracks. We've used the Option key to select on and off. We've used the Option key to do track height. And we've used the Option key to put multiple instances of effects across our template. Save that, and we'll look at the next section where we're going to do some other cool stuff.